pitching a tent for the first time in 17 years. I am doing the REI Half Dome 2 Plus Pro. Those words are in there somewhere. And I haven't even looked at the instructions, so here we go. It's the Half Dome 2 Plus Tent. Highly recommended by the man at REI. Off to a good start, can't get the knot undone. Check inside the tent bag for tent body and rain fly. I know what those are. Pull repair tube, guy lines, main aluminum tent poles, stakes, pull bag and stake bags. Just imagine how well you're gonna sleep tonight. I'm not really sure that that's true. Oh, this is the tent. This is the tent. So the last time I did this, I was camping in Yellowstone National Park with my brother and we pitched our tent at like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. and we couldn't find the tent stakes. So I know that these are very, very important. My brother lost these. He didn't actually lose them. He pulled the tent out of the car to pitch it and the tent stakes just came out in the dark and were underneath the entire tent the whole time while we spent like two hours looking for them. Excuse me. Ten stakes. Have them. Oh as much as I love REI, not sure I love that. Let's give this a listen. Oh no. Fully insert the P-O-L so there are no gap. I don't know what the P-O-L is and I don't know what the gap is. I'm assuming poles, gaps. Anyway, I'm gonna stake out the tent, the four corner loops. Here we go. Tent stakes. Of course, know the importance of these. Not sure what these are yet. Step two. Assemble the pull set and lay the set flap on top of the tent, aligning the center pole with the doors. Okay? Okay. Hmm. Yes, the neighbors have chickens, if you can hear that. Oh, snip snap. Yes, we're aligned, okay. Step two, oh yes, of course, the day that I want to pitch my tent. All of the neighbors would like to do their garden work also at, you know, 9.45 a.m. Huh. I should say, pitch a tent and film a video. All right, erect. We're following along together. Um, erect the poles by fully inserting all four leg pole ends into the grommet on the corner webbing located on the four corners of the tent. Um, must find grommet. Ah. Well. Mistake. Woo! Mistake number one. Put the tent stakes in the grommets. The tent stakes need to go in the little cord doohickeys. So I'm gonna redo that and then I can put the poles in the grommets on the corner webbing located on the four corners of the tent. 
Okay. Huzzah, we're in. Okay, connect the copper center pole to the copper webbing located at the door's peaks by inserting the pole ends into the grommet on the webbing. And then you attach the remaining clips to the poles. Okay. Drape the rainfly over the tent, matching the fly doors with the tent doors. Connect the rainfly to the tent by inserting the ends of the copper center pole into the grommets on the second copper webbing located inside the rainfly. Attach the four red hook and loop pole wraps located inside the rainfly to all four leg poles. Must show you this design. I didn't know what the tent looked like. All I knew was that it was going to be this kind of like baby purple blue rainfly color, but we've got um, this hat. Happening. Also, it comes with an alternative reversible. Oh dear God, I think this is the outside. Not reversible. Oh boy. Yep. Uh huh. And now I will make it a dress. Yes, this is my rainfly. Oh wow. Was definitely going for a solid color. That's what I thought I was purchasing. This is a bonus. A bonus, to be sure. Okay, here we go. little concerned about the zippers. The zipper on this door was already breaking apart and I could easily just like pull it apart. Zippers are important. Wow, that is something to look at, wouldn't you say? Ha. Huh. Won't be confusing my tent with anybody else's. That's for darn sure. Three, attach the red, four red hook. Okay, so I'm going around to the, the light poles. <laughs> but they don't tell you is you have to move the zippers all the way up to the top of the tent peak in order to vestibule it. So I'm trying to do this right here. And in order to make that happen, all the zippers need to go up to the top of the tent so that you can actually separate the pieces and open them up and create the vestibule. Can I say vestibule more often? It's such a good word. Okay, take down the vestibule loops. Okay, will do. Oh, I thought they'd given me extra tent stakes. These are for the vestibule. Okay. I don't know what a guy line is. Ah, optional for windy conditions. That would make sense. It looks really taut when you have the vestibule open, but it's not getting taut. We'll see. Shall we go inside? Shoes off.
shoes policy and you have your shoes permanently on you see the difference mystery out of the way, many more to go on the backpacking adventure. <laughs>